Hello friends. How are you today? I am so excited to be here with you today and talk with you about this amazing sacred gateway that showed up in the chart. I want to give you an intuitive interpretation, but also quickly look at an important number on the chart. So it was so amazing when I woke up this morning and saw this. I think this is this is seriously one of the most beautiful charts that I've seen in the Schumann. It was just phenomenal. Just look at this incredible. And, and look how the green up at the top is about the same distance um, on each side. It was so amazing. And there's a real sacredness feeling to this. I talked about zero point and zero amplitude. The details of the analytics, like frequency, amplitude, qualities, etc., they are on the previous video. So for all of that, please take a look at that video. But I want to mention that on that video, I had talked about, from the intuitive interpretation, these two um, images here, these small images here, representing Jacob's ladder that was on the chart even um, a couple days before that, and that it was in our subconscious. And then the image formed this incredible gateway. And I thought that was like, dang, girl, that was such a good call. <laughs> I just thought that was so awesome. Um, I want to thank Diva and her friend Stephanie, she was, Diva was telling me about a conversation she had with her friend Stephanie, and they talked about how this looked like a Shinto gate. Isn't that amazing? I want to talk to you about that in a second. As soon as I woke up, I saw the, 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 the gate, and the thing is, is that it, it's almost like this covered mysterious gate like in the woods. It's almost like there's ivy like hanging all at the top of it. But the Shinto gate is, the, the meaning of the Shinto gate is such a perfect description. So I want to thank Diva and Stephanie. Actually, Diva is my friend who's doing the sponsorship with me at her Etsy store. It The, the price discount lasts through December 5th. Part of that is because shipping from Europe takes a little while. So you have... Um, let's see, eight more days <laughs> to take advantage of that if you like. And thank you to all the people who have given her a like on Etsy. That is really nice of you guys. Okay, so let's take a look at the, I want to just show you in the black charts first, there is one particular aspect of importance in my view, in the frequency, amplitude, and quality charts that is different from what I talked about in my last video. And it was so fascinating. I literally talked about this level in the last video, but about 20.08, you see that there was just a few hours where the energies went back up and hung out at that, um, f uh, around that frequency very tightly that had had the um, frequency wall that I'd done a couple videos on. There's a series of about four videos um, just recently. So I think that that is a very interesting, it's almost like, you know, when you have this expanded experience, um, like if, whether it's spiritual or it could be like a physical experience where you just do like something amazing, like you, you rock climb this incredible cliff wall or, you know, you go on this amazing mountain bike, you know, <laughs> expedition along, you know, a narrow wall over the ocean. Yes, I had a friend who did that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was talked about for a very long time. You know, but these, whether it's, the physical, like an amazing physical accomplishment like that, that seems to lift you right out of and above what is normal, right? And then you come back down to earth, quote, down to earth. And I think that that is what we're seeing here, okay? We're seeing that for a moment there, <laughs> the group frequency, now I'm specifically talking about red, obviously, but I just want to narrow in on that because that's where uh, so much action has been. And I did talk about dynamics in green and yellow over the last few videos um, during the frequency wall videos. 
So, so I think this is like a coming back down to earth. Part of us goes back up and we touch that frequency wall. And really it gives you a choice. You see, it gives you a choice. Do I want the opportunity to access this incredible, um, this ex- these incredible expanded experience, human experiences, which I need the freedom to do that, right? I can only do that if I have freedom in my human life. And the most amazing thing is that this whole energy, I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you go on, actually, it's on Twitter, it's on Telegram, it's on True Social, but all of the videos of the Chinese people saying no to the oppression that they are experiencing. I mean, oh my goodness, I saw those videos this morning and my heart just leapt. I started like tears were coming to my eyes. Like th- these people are so brave, really. It's just, uh, it was amazing. And so this is literally, the dynamic is so, um, it's like, it's like at a, it's like at, you know, <laughs> it's like, like at the cliff edge. You know, it's the choices are so stark. And so we have this during this time period here where the frequency dips a little and that typically happens with an expanded higher frequency energy, okay? It dips, the frequencies dip. And then we go into, in the red, we go into this tighter like, wait, what was the wall like? Oh no, we're not going there. Wait, wait, what was the wall like? (laughs) Okay, so isn't it fascinating? We get to see like the difference. We get a contrast. We get a comparison. And I thank my friends Andrea and Lisa for really talking about this aspect of contrast, especially teaching me about it. And then in my human energy class, Lisa has recently brought up, you know, we were talking about the dark and the light, and she was like, we've really got to focus on the contrast. And you know, this is the thing. The contrast is what gives us the human experience of the difference in opportunity, right? The difference in what our life could be like. So in prayer, um, when you have that feeling of connectedness with God, okay, of connectedness, of communing, maybe you're talking with Jesus or you're receiving this flow, right, from the divine, you're maybe you're receiving information maybe you're just in a feeling of energy and it shifts from like when you started praying to when you get that connection and everything just expands that is zero point okay it's essentially a pure connection with divinity zero point and it's the same thing you know if you're doing meditation or buddhist meditation when you get to that centered place where all the thoughts are outside your energy field and you're just, mm, you know, you're just in the zone, zero point, that is zero point. And now if you do energy work, okay, and I teach this in my human energy class, when you connect with the love that you are with your own soul and you bring that prominently present within the body, you create zero point within the body. Okay, so this is the meaning of zero point. And my friends today, what I want to say is we can live this way. We can embody this. And this is what changes our world. We can do this, friends. We can do this.